Hello and welcome to BLW. I'm here again with another LEGO review. Today we are going to be reviewing LEGO Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jet Jedi Starfighter. Now, this set contains 282 pieces and normally retails for about $30. Now, at the time of filming, it is on sale for $23 on Amazon, and I have actually seen it online go as low as 20 bucks. Now, this set does include, of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Star Fighter, which, you know, I'm showing you a quick look around. And it includes three minifigures. So, you have, I believe this is R4P17. Of course, you have Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi in the middle there. Now he has both a hooded version, um, and then they also have a hair piece if you don't want him to wear his hood. And then we do have an alien here. Um, I believe the pronunciation is going to be Ton Wee. And again, this set normally retails for around $30 and has 282 pieces. I have to admit, although I normally don't like um, ship builds, other than the occasional you know, micro fighter. I really do like this one. I had a fun time putting it together. It wasn't that difficult and it was pretty easy to put together. And also I love the minifigures it includes. I love anything, any R droid unit. Um, of course R2 is my favorite, but getting some variety is good in there. Now Obi-Wan, I'll admit, um, probably a controversial take, but I could take him or leave him. Um, there's lots of, you know, different Jedis and Siths and stuff like that. And he is, oops, he is just kind of, a, you know, a basic Jedi minifigure. Of course, he is Obi-Wan. But having the alien, alien, sorry, said that very weird. Who I believe um, was named Ton Wee is also super cool. Now, instead of having the traditional minifigure legs, it does have the non-posable, um, I usually call it a dress type thing, because you see it on a lot of characters who wear dresses, although I don't necessarily think that that could be considered a dress for the alien. But having these three minifigures does add a lot of value to the set. Um, and then also, you know, the... Oops, the Starfighter does have shooters that actually shoot out Lego studs. Now, the studs are a nice neon color, so that does make them easier to find after you've shot them out. And I'll reload that later because I'm going to need both my hands. But... It does add, have some added functionality in it, especially, you know, if you've got a kid who's running the play with this, they can actually, you know, play with it and shoot things out of it. So overall, how would I rate this? I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I do really like this set. Um, I will probably keep the ship together, maybe put it on my knickknack shelf or something. But really, for me, the value is in the minif minifigures included. Again, you get Obi-Wan, and he does come with a lightsaber, which he is not my favorite minifigure in this set. The alien and the R4 unit, or, yeah, R4 unit, are my favorite, and they are what add most of the value to this set for me. So for that, I'm going to have to give it a 7 out of 10. And if you can find it for 20 bucks, like I saw online at one point, I would definitely say that bumps it up to an 8.5, just the value for the money. Now, I should also mention that you can take the head off the R4 unit and put it here on the ship so it can move back and forth like, you know, in the movies. So that is also cool. I do love the functionality here. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this review. And hey, if you did, Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new LEGO review. Thanks for watching.